In our next formation breakdown, we're going to look at the 4-3 under formation, and it is going to be the cover 3 play that we're going to choose. Now, the great part about this blitz is that it comes from four different guys. It comes from the safety, the defensive end on the left side of the screen, the defensive, sometimes the defensive tackle, and mostly the uh, number, I think that is the number two defensive tackle. I'm not sure, or it might be the number one. But from the left to the right, basically, it doesn't come in with the DN on the right side of the screen. But the setup is quite simple. Just get the defensive tackle A gap. Now you can see it coming in. You want to base the line, crash the defensive line down, bring your safety down, blitz him. You want to blitz or re-blitz your defensive tackle on the right side of the screen. As you can see him coming, screaming in. Uh, this blitz, unfortunately, is slide protectable. Every A gap is pretty much slide protectable. But one thing that you will notice is that, for one, I don't know why, but out of all the A gaps, mm, Whoa. Out of all the A gaps that I've used and that I've found and that I've seen, this is probably one of the fastest ones that I have. This is probably one of the fastest ones that I've ever seen so far this year. And I, I want to say the reason being is because he's coming straight at him. He's not coming at an angle or anything because where we're blitzing him, he gets that straight shot to the quarterback. I guess you could say, which makes it a lot faster. Now, another good thing about this play is that when you're sending this heat, you can also get dual edge from, now you can see the uh, the heat coming from the B gap on the left. You can also get two different types of dual edge. You can get the defensive tackle, uh, you can get the defensive tackle to come in through the A gap. You can also get the safety, which is Dwan Landry, I think his name is, uh, coming in as well. Or, like that B gap that you just seen coming in, you can get him coming in and the A gap coming in at the same time. This isn't something that I... There you can see the A guy, I mean the B guy coming in again. This isn't something that I run. I don't mean, I mean, it is something that I run, but it is not a blitz that I, I don't blitz this every down because we're sending five people mainly. But now you can see the uh, edgy coming in from the left side. But I do like this because you have to worry about that blitz coming in. So what I like to do, I kind of like to play coverage. I'll put like my fastest defensive end or my fastest outside linebacker. Now you can see the dual edge coming in like I spoke on earlier. I like to I like to have my fastest defensive end or linebacker at my defensive end position. I like to man him up, and I like to put the safety either in, keep the safety either in his light blue, or I'll zone him out or put him in a man to man or something like that. Just kind of adjust whatever they're doing. I might not send a blitz, you know, the first time that I come out of the formation, but. More than likely, I'm going to send it. It's just giving you the look, okay, I might send something. And then you can see it coming in again. I might send something, but you don't know when it's coming, especially if I don't send it on a regular basis. Then it's like, okay, now it's pretty much a guessing game with them. And we can pretty, we can almost win that like 90% of the time, which is what I mostly get anyway, because I don't like to blitz simply because we're blitzing five people, unless it's like on a third and long or something like that, or I just want to surprise them with it. I might do it on like the first down, just throw it at them, let them know it's there. And as soon as it comes in, once the next down is in there, I'm playing coverage. I'm going to keep playing coverage until I get a feel for what they're doing and then throw that in there. But as I said, this blitz is slide protectable, unfortunately, but you do want to adjust to whatever your opponent is doing just to give them different looks on the defensive side of the ball. Just do whatever you can like I've told you in the 4-4 and the 4-3 stack videos just try to take away as many reads as you can especially if we get that A gap to come in and then we've taken away some reads we can really shut an offense down like that but I want to say it comes in again uh this blitz is very consistent when they're not slide protecting there you can see the dual edge coming almost coming in again it's very consistent when they're not slide protecting I've it works against under center as well. Every blitz that I've given you guys works under center. But that is pretty much the end of the video. If you ha if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, go ahead and put it in the comment section below. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe to check out our, check out our next video um, on next formation we're going to break down.